guys, I went to Target. So I have a little haul to show you. I shouldn't say little, decent, but again, it was just the dollar spot. I don't know what it is. It's just such cool, interesting finds at the dollar spot. Uh, you know, same as Dollar Tree. It's just like, I don't know, just different things, you know, versus like just the rest of the store. I had, had to do a return, so I had to go to customer service. I got $66 back to me, and I was like, okay, let's try to spend around that or less. And I had to go over a smidge, but not by much. But I figured I would show you guys the really cool finds. So the first thing is a two-pack of signs for $5. This one says, just breathe. But the one I like the most is this one that says, hello. I don't have it yet, but I do plan on getting a white, entryway table with black legs i'm thinking about doing like a black and white theme in that area it is a really big entryway i have a lot of like room to work with i'm super happy i've never really had an entryway before because i always lived in apartments this one's a home um so i plan i thought this would look really cute with the black and the white and the wood elements and the fact that it says hello like walking in so i have a bunch of like little easels that i can like prop this on and i thought this would be really cute the just breathe i'm not sure yet what i'll do with it uh, you know, even just in my bedroom or on my desk or whatever. But I couldn't pass it up because I really, really wanted the hollow one. Five bucks to get two little wooden signs. I grabbed that. And then I grabbed two of these. I love these signs. I have a few of them. I have the big version of this house-shaped one. I use it all the time. I have done like a Friendsgiving and I literally wrote like Happy Friendsgiving for when they walked in. I wrote the menu um, under it. Uh, I've even, like, when Joe walked in on Valentine's Day, not this year because we went to Disney World, but the year prior, I put, like, Happy Valentine's Day, I love you with the heart, and his gift was in front of it. These also just really good, like, backgrounds in photos, videos, literally, you could put, like, a hashtag on here, and I can put it right there behind me. You know, I can do hashtag Target Hall, you know what I mean? Like, literally, the it's always just good to have little things like this. I couldn't pass up the heart-shaped one. And really well priced, three dollars. It's double sided, so I'm not sure how the chalk will work on this side, but it does say double sided includes one piece of chalk, reversible hanging chalkboard sign. So you get the chalk and you get two sides to work with for only a dollar. I mean, for only three dollars. Guys, know I'm used to saying only a dollar because it's Dollar Tree, but this is Target. So. I grabbed that, and then I also grabbed, like, the house-shaped one, like I mentioned. So I have the big one now and the small one. The big one was five, so the small one is three. And, again, I usually put these on easels because they don't really have a back to them. This one kind of has the thing to hang on the wall. This one just kind of has, like, a little bit of rope. But I buy those little easels at Dollar Tree, literally. And they have so many. They have big ones. They have small ones. And these are good for propping this kind of up, like, on a board. Like, how cute to write menu, and I could put, like, all the different things you know, if I'm doing like a dinner party or something about, like along those lines. Talking about dinner parties, I got a lot of um, like charcuterie board items. I shouldn't say a lot. I got a few. One of them is this. It is listed as a serving board. It is slate. This is heavy duty. It came in this rectangle and it came in a round. I feel like you got more surface area for the rectangle. These are just like protectors. It is a solid black I went to Disney World. I do plan on doing a sit-down video soon. Just I want to tell you guys about my experience on that. But anyway, I went to a place called Be Our Guest, which is one of the more expensive, fancier restaurants at Disney. We did it on Valentine's Day since we were there for Valentine's Day. We thought it'd be really cute. And it's supposed to be, um, oh my God. I want to say Belle and Beauty. That I keep saying, I know that's not it. Beauty and the Beast. But it's the Beast and Belle's Castle. And the beast even walks around. Um, they did the only way they do that, they do like a three course meal, and it's like a set price, it's like $65 a person. There's three different options for the appetizer, five different options for the entree, and like the dessert. There's only like it's like little bites, and you just get the three that they have. But this one of the appetizer options was a meat board, and it came like this. They had it literally like it looked exactly like this, and you each person got one. So I got one, my boyfriend got one, and the couple where they each got one. And it just had, like, different cheeses and meats. So I was like, you know, it's a really cute idea. Whether I put it in the middle for, like, a little dinner party or I could even just do for me. I grabbed that. 
could not help myself. And then the other two things for the charcuterie board, this right here, it's listed as cheese utensils. It is a three count. It was $5. You get three different utensils. Again, I love the wood tone, but I love the touch of the black and white stripes. You get like a little like two pronged fork. You get like a blunt little knife. You don't really need a sharp knife for soft cheeses. And then you get this cool spatula. So I thought for $5, this is super duper cute to put. And like, how cute does this look? with the slate board you know what i mean because the black stripes and then again put this up write the little menu on it like so so cute so i grabbed that that's half the reason i wanted a bigger place i wanted to be able to host like holidays and have people here and then the next thing i got for charcuterie boards is this cheese marker set it is five dollars sorry guys i do have a bit of a runny nose i literally have some hot tea in front of me right now um but anyway and it literally marks your cheese so there's literally one that says spicy can you guys see that and there's nine different ones so it says spicy mild sharp gargonzola cheddar parmesan gouda brie and goat so this way you can mark the different cheeses on your board it literally has the pointy end so you can literally just like stab it right in the cheese it literally shows a little picture right there so i thought that was really cute i Another thing I got, this kind of goes along with the signs that I showed you guys. This is, this technically is a sign because you can write on it. It says write on it, dry erase finish, add your hashtag. And you can tell because the base of this is like not shiny. This is like just straight white wood, but the base of, but the front of it is shiny. There is a different kind of like sticker material on here. So it is like a wipeable surface so you can write on it. Uh, my mind automatically went to like, weddings or even like major events baby showers whatever if you want to have like a hashtag i know a lot of people do that you can write what you want your hashtag to be put this on the guest book table but i thought for my purpose you know even if i had in the background on my youtube videos or you know in photos or something like that even just like on a shelf like it's hashtags are really popular and it's really really cute i just could not leave it there for only five dollars i just thought it was really cute and different you can really see really different things at target oh yeah this was to kind of go with the charcuterie boards too it is just a set of stackable bowls i love the black and white it's just so fancy like it's just an extra little touch the bowls always good for charcuterie boards because you can put like different little dips in here you can put like a you know like a, a mustard dip if you have like pretzel bites you can put um olives i know people put all different things on charcuterie boards or if you're making a dessert charcuterie board you can put some almonds well even on not a dessert one you can put almonds but you know what i mean just has a lot of different purposes if i'm having a little get together and i literally just have a platter of chicken tenders i can put different sauces i can put the ranch the honey mustard so i just thought this was really cute for only five dollars so i grabbed that and then I grabbed these two like DIY planter sets. It was literally only $3. And it literally says it comes with the pot, nine beads, three pieces of cord, and the instruction seat. So there it is right there. It shows you what it comes with. And that's kind of how it's supposed to be done when it's assembled. I have a kitchen island. I do plan on filming my room tours during my April vacation. So you guys should be seeing that soon. Um, everything but the entryway. The entryway is the main room that's not going to get done yet because I have to buy the pieces of furniture slowly. Like I said, I do want to get a nice entryway table. I want to get a really nice coat rack, stuff like that. Um, you know, you can only do it in due time. I got a budget and plan these things out. I owe it on income taxes, so that's kind of setting me back a little. But anyway, so I my kitchen island has two hooks above it. At the moment, I have black planters hanging from it. It doesn't look bad, but it was bothering me because my kitchen is mostly like blues and white and touches of pink. So I was like, you know what? I really want white planters for there. If I find something cheap, I'll do it. If, I, if it was going to be expensive, I wasn't going to do it because I already have the black ones. But these are only $3 each. So I said, you know what? I'm going to scoop these up. I'll do that. And I might switch the black ones to in here because those actually do have the option to be screwed into the ceiling. It came with like a little hook. So I may do that here in the living room, like above the couch each corner of the couch that might look kind of cute we'll see but for now i got these nice little three dollar ones to hang above my kitchen island and then i grabbed this planter this was also three dollars it does have the little stopper so you can let the water come out this was the last one in the black and white i love the speckle the speckled print um i may just throw a fake plant in here this might also go on my entryway so i'm doing a black and white look we will see. But they had tons of the pink ones with a pink speckle. This was the last black and white. And I do prefer because it's more of a neutral. So I grabbed that. 
the only piece of St. Patrick's Day decor I got. I don't usually decorate for St. Patrick's Day. That is actually my brother's birthday in my family. So it's more about him and we cook his favorite dinner and well, back in the day when we all lived together. And now we already just did his birthday thing on Sunday. And my mom made dinner. And she did have like a green dessert, pistachio. But anyway, I love when the O changes to the season. I have like a welcome sign on my porch. And right now it has a full leaf clover. But I had like um, a wreath for Christmas, a snowman for winter. You know, there's specific ones and non-specific ones. There's a bunny butt I'm going to put next for Easter. So, so cute. I did a whole reel on my porch if you guys are interested on my Instagram so definitely consider checking that out I always link it down below but this was literally only a dollar again not this year but already I can store this next year having this on my entryway table super cute just little touches for each holiday you don't have to go too crazy I'm, I don't even plan on doing too much for Easter the holidays I go really big for is like not even holiday but season I usually do fall and then I'll switch it over to like Halloween and then I do uh, then I do a little bit of fall kind of in between and then Christmas and that's about it. And then after that, I just do little touches of it, which you will see because the next thing I got were these pack of dish towels. I used to get dish towels a lot at Dollar Tree, but if you guys notice, I haven't been showing them in hauls lately. I don't like the feeling of them. They like get caught on my skin. It's like the fabric they use, just not the highest quality. I also find they don't wash well. Most of the time I was just using as decor, so it didn't really bother me. But then I saw these and now, especially now with Dollar Tree going up to $1.25, they had this at Target. It's five dollars, but it comes with two, so that's a really good deal, especially for the quality of these. These feel so nice. I wonder if they say what they are made of. It would probably say it on the tag, right? I don't know, but it's definitely a totally different fabric, and even like you could tell the quality, like the bunny is stitched on. It's like a whole different layer. Love the white and pink gingham. I love like the three D little bunny tail. Love the pink tassel, and then the second one is just the white and pink. Uh, gingham so it like matches but it's not an exact match I love that so I'm going to be adding these to my oven I was already dying to it yesterday I have like a snowflake one I am like over winter but I wanted to show you guys first before I ripped it off and then once Easter is over it is still spring you know up until like June so I figured I would put those away and just put these these are just plain white but then they have the pink tassel since I do have touches of pink in my kitchen and you know pink is just like a spring color again five dollars you get two these are just exact matching pairs and then i grabbed this oh, so so cute last one could not leave it there i saw it from far away and i ran right for it it's five dollars it's a cute little watering can it is ceramic though so i don't know if i'm gonna use it for that i have been thinking about just buying one at dollar tree for a dollar 25 just to water my plants um most of the ones inside are fake but I do, I do have like a little garden and all that for outside. So this, I don't think is going to be worth it. One, it's not as, you know, as big. It's not going to, you know, be able to be filled up with that much water. I would have to be going back and forth. Uh, also, it's ceramic. I don't want to break it. So I honestly think I'm just going to display this. I have open shelving in my kitchen. So I think this is going to look so gorgeous. I love the rainbow. It is so beautiful. But if you do want to use it for a watering can function, you can. It does have like an open mouth here and an open spout there. And then certainly last but not least was this right here so there was literally two of them left so i flipped it over and i was like oh five bucks not bad you get one um i love i get a lot of storage baskets at dollar tree but they don't usually have a lid you guys know that so i said hmm i get a lid it's like a nice metal material this would look really cute even displayed in my kitchen displayed in my bathroom even on my desk in my office i might do that i said you know what I think I'm gonna get it and then when I looked even closer I said oh my god I'm definitely getting it because I realized it actually comes with two there is actually one inside of here I don't know if you guys can see that little white metal piece right there so you get a small one it is 4.5 by 4.5 by 4.2 and you got a medium size that is 5 by 5 by 4.7 so five bucks for two that is definitely a good deal because like I said dollar tree to dollar 25 these come out to 250 each but you get the lid that's really good it is on the smaller side but especially if it's like for my kitchen my bathroom my office i don't need something huge you know what well, i don't know am i gonna i'm salt i could do my my salt because i do buy bag like one pound bags of salt from dollar to my pink himalayan salt um and i buy sea salt or like in my bathroom i can have like my cotton balls q-tips usually use even smaller ones for that you know what i mean or maybe i can put like my serum, some of my makeup products. And so that way take advantage of this bigger size. But I'm like, you know what? Five bucks, you get two. It has a cover. It's super cute. I love the white 
neutral design with the wooden tops so i grabbed it that is everything i got in the dollar spot so all together i spent 75 dollars. but if you use your card you always get five percent off so i love having the target card so i think it went down to 71 and change and like i said i got 66 bucks back from my return so i ended up coming i only spent five dollars out of pocket not bad at all that is one of the reasons i don't go to target too often because i do spend when i go um i let myself since i had the return so you know it wasn't like it was another charge on my card it kind of evened out minus my starbucks order but joe paid for that technically um i always have to get a starbucks order when i go the starbucks in my city there's only one and it always 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 has a line so i never go so i only go when i'm at target and i don't go to target that often last time i've been target was before christmas you guys saw it if you guys didn't check it out it's a haul i can link it down below if i remember if not just check out my playlist but it is a christmas team themed one so i don't know if you want to watch it there's definitely things outside of christmas in that haul i will show you guys a little bit of everything that is the cool new things at the dot target dollar spot right now i love checking it out i don't even go in the store that often to be honest with you guys i mostly shop online because if you guys know if you guys want like watch my instagram stories i have been doing tons of fashion over there i do want to start doing it on this channel um i gotta buy a little microphone because i am gonna be farther away from the camera so you guys can see my outfit so you're not gonna be able to hear me as well so i'm budgeting for that right now and i gotta work on the room i'm gonna be filming it in it is like half empty i just need to work on the other half but I've been showing you guys like my outfits of the days, outfits of the nights, accessories, stuff like that. I love fashion. I've always been a huge fashion person. And I mention all the time that most of my clothes is from Target, Torrid, and Old Navy. Target, 99% of their brands, like a very big chunk of them. For sh like right off the top of my head, Knox Rose, Universal Thread, um, A New Day. I think, who, what, where maybe? I'm not 100% sure on that one. But Wild Fable, like those five for sure carry plus size they go up to 4x online so that is where i do majority of my shopping but once in a blue moon you know something's tight or too loose or it looks different online than it does in person which is what happened with the the jacket i returned so that's usually when i go to target is just for the holidays and then when i have to do a return so i usually let myself just check the dollar spot and i leave because if i got even more into the store i'd be even more in trouble um I usually go for Mother's Day for my mom, so we'll see. That might be the next time you see a haul. If you guys like Target hauls, definitely consider subscribing. They do pop up on my channel. Any hauls, really, anytime I shop, anytime I get anything in the mail, anytime I get a box. I do do mystery boxes. I do Fab Fit Fun, Walmart Beauty Box, Goldie Box. But like I said, I do want to start branching out. I want to start doing some fashion videos, maybe some cooking videos. Once I get my room tours done and post it for you guys, I definitely want to start doing some different content because I am trying to save more money. So I'm not going to be buying things as frequently as also, I've been posting a little bit less and trying to stretch out the pre film content I do have. Like I said, I allow myself to buy these things because it was a return from something. So it wasn't extra money spent. And these are items I will definitely get use out of. Very functional for my home, especially right now because I'm organizing. And I did want the charcuterie things because I do like to um, host events. And like I really wanted white planters, you know, and it was only $3. You know, I never buy like willy nilly. Dollar Tree, when it was, things were a dollar, especially not so much for the last year, but if you look at my older hauls, sometimes I was buying things just to buy things. I have a bunch of like body washes, shampoos, conditioners that I like do not have space for in this house. And most of it is like Dollar Tree. And I said, I just bought this literally to show you guys because the packaging was pretty or it was a cool name brand. So I am actually doing a huge donation to Ukraine. There's a fire station nearby that is doing donations on march 20th they are asking for blankets and clothes and body care items like deodorant stuff like that i am donating so much stuff so i can get the rest of this house done and film for you guys but anyway that was a big outro but like i said any of that interests you guys definitely consider subscribing if you liked this video if you like me you like hauls target give it a thumbs up it really helps the youtube algorithm but that is it for this video comment down below tell me do you love target dollar spot do you love target in general um what is your favorite thing out of this haul do you guys usually decorate for the seasons or holidays will you do saint patrick's day i always like talking to you guys down below but like i said that is it for this video guys be safe